Hey froggy friends, I spent the last week looking at different tutorials and tricks to try to get the infamous no-fill offline version of Pet Society running, and I finally managed to. Since a lot of the other tutorials I found were made for Windows 10 and before, I had a lot of troubles getting it going, so I thought it would be a good idea to make a proper and in-depth tutorial here so that maybe you can spend a little bit less time digging and more time actually playing. I will say, if this all feels too complicated to be worth it, or you don't trust the files on your system, over on my long play channel, uh, I have some gameplay of the nofill server, so you're more than welcome to head down there and relive it through watching me. Uh, disclaimer, if you are planning to follow this, all of the files I mention here will be linked in the description. As they are downloaded from other sources, I can't verify the safety of them. But uh, from my own experiences, they're safe. But that's going based off of me. So do your own research, use Virus Total, all that jazz. Uh, and also note that the Pet Society Reddit may have more up to date files than what I have. So if you're looking for something beyond what I have, then I'd recommend looking over there. All right, first things first, you need to download the Pet Society for Windows folder, move it to your desktop and unzip it. Pretty much everyone has had the same issues with it of if it's not on your desktop, nothing loads. So it's better to just do it that way. Then you need to download and install Adobe Air. It's weird because it's not on the Adobe website. When you go to the new owners through Google, it takes you to the dev kits and not the runtime. So if you follow the link, it'll take you directly to the runtime version, which is the EXE that you need so that you can actually use it. Got it? Nice. Now you need to install the Pale Moon web browser. It's flash friendly, which is important since this is a flash game. And it's based off of an old Firefox build, so it should be fairly easy to figure out for previous Firefox users. Uh, I saw an emulator that tried to use the old Internet Explorer, but it just, it won't work. I've tried everything because I thought that would be the easiest method. It is not. So use Pale Moon. It, it's going to be a lot simpler. So this is where I got my Flash Player install, but everyone kind of has their own preferences on where they get Flash. So you should download Flash where you see fit, whether you have a web archive, whether you have some obscure mega zip download thingy, uh, just whatever your preference is, you need Flash on your browser. Uh, you can also check afterwards uh, by opening Pale Moon, and then under the big Pale Moon button in the corner, you can check in your extensions and see if Flash is there. If it's there, you're good. Now you should have Flash and the browser and the files. Now we can actually get to using them. Open your Pet Society folder and install both the PSE Windows file and the NoFill 2000 PS Server 1.5 file. Let them do what they need and make sure to keep the desktop icon. That is very important. Before you're done with that folder, you should go into your www root folder and open Mongoose. This is the remote server for Pet Society to run on, so if you miss this step, nothing will work. So if you notice nothing's working, check on your taskbar, make sure it's there. You may have to mess with your firewall settings or your uh, antivirus, depending on your system. Okay, now you can close out of that and now open the desktop icon of the mayor. It's gonna open a blank screen with a window inside that has some steps. If you want to, you can close the little window that's got the steps. I personally like to keep it open until I start the game because then I make sure that I remember all the steps. Just because I've done this 80 times doesn't mean I remember the 81st time. Up at the top, you'll see three buttons. You first wanna hit database, then load, and it should automatically be set for the right file. If not, you can pause the video and type out what you see on the screen. If this works right off, great, awesome. That means you don't gotta do anything 
else with that. Uh, if it comes up with an error and it doesn't load, uh, it's a very easy fix. You can go down to your little mongoose guy in the corner over there and right click it and open the settings. Now you're going to see where it says 8080 and you want to change that to just 80, 80. Uh, I don't know when this started to become an issue because it's supposed to be set to 80, but it, it seems to be a common issue over the last so many years from what I've seen in YouTube comments. So this should fix your database so that it actually loads so you have items. Next, you want to open the portfolio window, which will look a bit confusing at first. You can ignore pretty much everything except for the load no fill, which is what you need to load your pet. Once you click it, go into your pet society for windows folder and open one of the no fill profiles. The ones with names are users characters that you can play with and the pet and Blanco is the blank pet for you to start with. I'm pretty sure there's some instructions for a create a pet in there, but I've never really messed with it. If you want to feel free. Uh, but I will be including a folder with random profiles that I found that uh, is no longer available. So you can have a large variety of them to mess with. Cool. You have your pet and your game ready to go. Hit start server. And if it says it's listening, you're in. Now you want to open your Pale Moon browser and go to localhost, which I'm just going to write the link in the description so you can copy paste it. Uh, but it, it's you should be able to just type localhost as the URL itself. And you should come up with a very familiar screen. I'm sure you recognize it. It's your www root folder. Now, this is where I've seen loads of comments, including myself when I was trying to figure this out, of this is everyone else just hit start and, and loaded it and the game's there. The game is not there. I mean, it is, but we have another step first that everybody else, for some reason, got to skip. Don't ask me. I don't know. But you need to click on the Super Mario Brothers theme. I know it seems odd. That's the one I got working. The other one is the uh, original loading, and it, for some reason, doesn't load any assets and just kind of crashes. So I, yeah, it's it's a horrible buggy mess compared to the slightly less buggy mess. So use the themed one. You'll actually be able to play. And with that, congrats, you're in. It might take a bit to load, so don't freak out if it's not instant. This is a very old game. And you should keep a close eye on your little mayor window. The text box should be filling with script, because that's quite literally the game code. Uh, if it seems really sluggish or you're seeing errors and your game is, it seems to be like soft locked, frozen, lagging really bad, uh, it's probably a good time to reset. You can save. So that's nice, uh, although progress is a little weird. Uh, but you should be able to save and you should be able to reset in most cases and be fine. There is also auto saving. It'll tell you if it's not working. Uh, just a small note in the game. Uh, coins and items are very inconsistent and messy. So if you buy something in game and you buy one of them, you may end up with a hundred of them. And it may, when you load it back up, be like, we have to sell everything. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's still going to be there. And um, coins are very weird. Like, sometimes you can uh, earn them, and then other times it's like, you can earn them until you can't. And now it's just there. And then you restart it, and then you've got, like, four times what you earned. So you'll just have to hang in there with it. Uh, but that's it. There you go. Uh, I can help with troubleshooting the best I can, but there's no promises. I'm not a developer for this. Uh, this seems like it's been 
semi-abandoned in terms of trying to do any major fixes on it. Uh, but I highly recommend checking Reddit first before asking questions here, because there are people there who are still working on it and are still trying to get things functioning a lot better, and they can probably help. Uh, but if you need to, you can ask here, or if this was confusing, you know, feel free to let me know. And uh, I hope this helps some people get into the no-fill side of preserving this game. Because, as I said before, I spent several hours trying to get this working. It took way too long to get this up and going. Because most of the tutorials were either like 10 years old or for old Windows builds. So this should work on Windows 11. I'm using Windows 11. So... Thank you for watching, and I hope that you're all going to have some fun playing some Pet Society. Also, I'm very sorry about my eyes. They're a little buggy right now, okay? I'm still getting used to this.